Yesterday, if we rewind 24 hours, <laughs> I was sitting on the ground asking for my mommy or our mommy to come pray with me. Because I had uh, brought some stuff out here, cut down some trees, and um, on our project here, let me let me back up a little bit. So, yeah. yeah, go way back. All right, go, go way back. So um, we have decided to make this spot um, a little cabin. And so we'll use that for a playhouse, uh, a guest house, and uh, my temporary office until um, we get the bigger house built. So uh, yesterday I was out here at, and we initially had the outer four poles up and um, I had these three tied to each other to stabilize it themselves. This one was stabilized like it is there. Uh, and um, I bumped one of the stabilizers, loosening it, and then... Not with your hand. No. With four-wheeler the day before. <laughs> I bumped it. Boom. I ran into it. Okay, so I knocked one of the stabilizers <laughs> loose out of just crowdedness because there was too many trees in the way. So then that day I cut down these trees so I'd have more uh, room. And then the next day when I was picking up a board, I bumped the stabilizer again enough to dislodge it from the stake in the ground, causing this one to go flump, this one to go flump, and then that one to go flump, while I sat there and watched them all fall like dominoes. So yesterday morning you were sitting in a pile of rubble. Today it looks like this. This yes. is incredible. Thank you, thank you to friend Joe. This progress over. is amazing. My, my only friend Joe. My only friend. And, my uh, one friend in the world. That's right. And uh, so yeah, we, we got the, the uh, subfloor, if you will, the joist, the floor joist up. And of course, in true creaky fashion, at least St. Louis, Cedar Hill, creaky hill fashion, we use what material we have on hand. That's right. Yes. So we came up with a design that will work out really well. Um, then we're going to put um, some 2x4s down to make the gaps between the, the floor joist less so that it doesn't bow or squeak or sag. And then uh, we have these really awesome nails that we had laying around that the kids were just driving into wood. That it's so satisfying to drive a nail like this. I don't know if it's considered a spike. I'd say it's a nail. But it's great. Uh, one of our grandpas brought this over. Thank you, Grandpa. And so we're going in to help stabilize it where we don't have um, hangers on the joists right now. Yesterday they put up these joists. Yes, floor joists. Mm -hmm. yep. The plan for this is that it will be a structure that's about 200 square feet and this front part Correct. from so here. From here to right here. This will be a porch. It will be a front porch. A covered porch. Yes. And then we'll have the loft above us. So right, you come in four more feet from the, so again, front door is right in front of us. This will be then open for four feet all the way to the peak of the ceiling, but you can kind of see the, the top part of the, the um, center post there. That's going to be the peak of the loft. And so there's gonna be about four feet of room between there. And there's gonna be like four foot space where you can see all the way to the peak when you first walk in. And then the loft will be above that and it's gonna be eight foot deep by 16 essentially there so uh, that'll be some additional sleeping um, I'm gonna put a wood burner in here my wife is telling me that we need to wire it for electricity for air conditioning we'll <laughs> That's see so that I want to come and work in it <laughs> I brought down some granola and milk for a snack. Tell us your progress here because it looks like you've made a lot of progress. It's the precursor to the subfloor. I don't know, we call them battens. I don't know what really what the deal is. But the reason we're putting these boards like this is so so when we put the board, the subfloor that we're gonna put before we actually put the real floor, so there isn't any sagging or warping or, or a lot of movement in your floor. So putting the we had lots of 2x4s here. We didn't have so many of the, the joists like we talked about. Um, so we, the kids did great. We started lining out. Once they understood what was going on, they were all in. And you had to basically, they were racing to beat down the nails. It's like, oh no, this is mine. Can this be mine? Can this be mine? Kids love to work. 
when they have purpose. Lydia, you like being down here and seeing what's going on? Is this the rest of the subfloor? Yeah. You guys uh -oh. tired? Mom, look what you know who brought. Look. <laughs> you get two wards that equal 16 foot? James. At least it isn't the last one. James, James, James. Put your fingers on the holes, buddy. Like this. Maybe I'll cut that one down there. I'm not the one I so this flooring is going down so nicely that we're probably just going to leave it for now as the flooring. Okay, right there. It's good quality. It's actually an old um, deck flooring that we were given. It's thick. Yep, composite. First you went up, then you went down. You just can't make up your mind. Huh?